The hedge fund manager John Paulson is rolling the dice yet again. He made $3 billion beating the U.S. housing market would collapse. Now he's buying distressed debt and mortgage-backed securities. John Ehrlichman joins us now with more on the story of the hedge fund manager who's had a one great winning streak. Yeah, I'm sure a lot would like that performance. You're right, Eric. Paulson & Company, a $28 billion powerhouse. The fund used borrowed assets to bid against housing prices in the 2007 subprime crisis. A shorting strategy we know paid off in a very big way, but now Paulson's looking to profit from the global financial crisis by picking up assets on the cheap. For example, Paulson's firm is buying the debt of banks as well as the debt of finance companies, especially those that received government help. Sandra Lee, a senior vice president at the fund, said at a conference this week that it's an area some managers have overlooked in the past. She said Paulson has been adding pretty steadily to our long distressed positions and that where the firm once shorted the lower quality subprime securitizations, it's now going long the higher quality names. Now, bonds are termed distressed when they yield at least 10 percentage points more than similar maturity government notes. According to Merrill Lynch, U.S. distressed debt securities up 49 percent this year versus a loss in the same period a year ago. And on that note, the extra yield investors demand to hold speculative grade bonds about half the level it was in the middle of December. Different time, obviously. Back to you guys. Thank you, John.